The Roz and Mocha Show. Kiss 92.5. Mocha hired the mustache. I have to keep it through um, Movember and Manuary. Do I honestly like it? Yeah. I was going to trim it to make it look more like Salvador Dali. Then you could do that. Now, let's talk about Flashpoint. Isn't it, uh, it's kind of sad that it's coming to an end. Tonight's the final episode. Sweet. But is it great that at least you had the chance to sort of write the ending and create it on your own? Yes. Yeah. Thank you. I'm not going to elaborate. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not asking what happens, but it's kind of good that at least it wasn't just pulled from the network. You guys it was, you know, start to finish, it was just the best experience under the sun. Next to, next to getting married and the headstones, Flashpoint is it. Have you pre-ordered your Flashpoint box set yet? I think I get a free one. Well, that doesn't really support all the others, then. <laughs> yeah. What are you going to miss most about the show? The crew. You know, the camaraderie. That's what I love. I just loved hanging out with those guys every day. The camaraderie of everyone. The producers and the writers and the executive producers and the props and the sound. And Steve Stacks. You know, I just loved it. There wasn't, there was, it was just awesome across the board. The let, people. Let me ask you this. When they stopped filming, it was the last scene and it was done. Was there a tear? Was there hugs? No, happened? I was exhausted. It was like crossing the finish line. I was done. I knew we'd done something special and it was time to go home. And we'll end on this. What would be one sort of nugget, one memory you're going to take with you forever from Flashpoint? <laughs> that opening scene, going up in that elevator, being up on that roof with Dave Fuzzy directing. It was the pilot. And I just felt going up in that elevator, we were on our way. The show is beginning. And I felt... I just had an incredible instinct for this show and its success. I love the people and I love the story and I just and I've been through it before when, when things work, they work for a reason. It's because you know, artistic integrity for lack of a better phrase. And these folks had it. And look at all the fans that came out to see you. Isn't that incredible? It's like you got yourself a Bieber welcome when you were walking through. That's funny. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, you knew I was like the biggest fan of the show. I saw you. So I haven't watched it yet. I wanted to watch You'll it with you it. tonight. So I'm yeah. very excited. Thank you so much You're for welcome. a great five years. You're welcome. Thanks, Dave. Thank you. Hi. How are you? I'm wonderful. So it's come down to this. The final yeah. episode tonight. Mm. If you could take one memory with you mm -hmm. forever as uh, being a part of the show, what would it be? It would be the it would be the very last shot. I can't tell you what it is because I don't want to spoil it. But it's very emotional. Um, it's very right, and uh, we just related with each other so well. Um, and it wrapped up all the stories nicely. And so people are going to be really surprised with that. And we were all very emotional in that moment. So that I won't forget. That I'll I'll always take with me is that we did a great job and we became a real family. And. Um, and now we have to move on. So that it's it's such bittersweet. Tatiana, how are you? I'm well, thank you. How are you? This is amazing. Oh, thank you. Am I you. supposed to point to it? I'm not supposed no, to. No, it's not it. there. Okay, <laughs> sorry. It's okay. And see. And take two, right? Listen to the screaming. Like, That's isn't this incredible. Like you guys, are, like like a Bieber welcome. Like it's so well, incredible. Well, because the, the sexy part of the crew just got here, right? Oh, That's how that. Is. I think it's you. That's how that works. Well, you know, well thank you. Thank what you. is one memory you're going to take forever with you from working on Flashpoint? You know what? I met my very good friend Olin E.K. for the very first time in the middle of the SRU. We were on set. I walked in. She was the new character that day. I walked in and we just looked at each other. We made a beeline for each other and we just talked like we're old friends. And we're close, close friends now. And I, we study together and work together. And she's amazing. And I met her in the middle of the SRU. And I will never forget that. Yeah. Let's, let's end on this. What do you have to say to all of the people who watch every week who you know, knew that Flashpoint became part of Toronto? Uh, what do you have to say to everybody? Thank you. You're amazing. You've made the show what it is. All we can say is thank you. I'll allow you to reference the headcam to wave to everybody. Go ahead. Hi! <laughs> I'll allow it. Thank you. I want to get one of these. This is like GoPro, but better, right? Yeah, yeah it's awesome. It's, it's it like the homemade like GoPro. Fool. Yeah. No, I think you're the raddest one in here. That's nice. for sure. Thank you so much. You're welcome. We'll see you inside. Thank you. Thank you. Hey! Hey! How are you guys? Good to see you again. Good to see you. Awesome. So, well, the married couple. How are you? <laughs> We're fighting again. Does that ever, like, I know that it's all in acting and stuff, but does it ever hinder in real life where, like, you know, your fa actual families are like, oh, oh, I, I get it. Oh. Her daughter had some trouble. <laughs> See? This is what I mean. <laughs> what is wrong now? No. No, we're, we're all friends. I'm friends with his 
wife and Ollie's, uh, David's friends with Ollie, and I don't know. And we're, we live in the same neighborhood, and it's fun. But I love how confusing it was for your daughter. That's fantastic. <laughs> it was. It's because I brought her to a screening, and I forgot that in that episode I was kissing him. And she oh, went, no. she was pointing the screen going, oh, David. <laughs> oh, she was no. three at the time. Okay. Traumatized. Oh, oh, she was <laughs> So now that it's come to an end, is there one sort of moment that you're going to treasure forever? Like one memory that you're going to always savor with you from being on Flashpoint? Well, there's so many, but one in particular, I got to have my parents come on the show and play Sam Braddock's parents at our wedding. Uh, and that was a thrill just to have them there. It was fun. It was, it was towards the end of the season. And uh, yeah, it was just a sweet moment. What about you? Yeah. Moments and it was the friendships I created and the time when we used to sit in those SUVs for hours on end waiting for in between shots and some of those times spent in the car for hours were so fun. Like we ended up talking about things I could never repeat right now. Such as. <laughs> nice. Now you hear that screaming as you all come in. What do you have to say? I mean, these are like fans that are screaming for you. What do you have to say to the people who are such huge fans of the show? How are you? Oh my uh, thank you. And uh, I don't know. It's just, it's, uh, yeah, thanks. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we, who would have guessed five years ago that we would be here doing this right now? Getting a Bieber welcome. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it's, uh, it's, it's awesome. There's no tears. <laughs> Awesome. Well, thank you so much for being a part of our lives for this, you know, for the years that it's been on TV and being a part of Toronto as well. So thank you so much. Thank you. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Thank you. I love the jacket, by oh, the way. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. <laughs> hey, what up? It's a new helmet. No, it's the same it's one. Same one. Okay. It's just the lighting. The lighting is different. And my mustache. And you, you change your shirt. And the no, mustache. And the mustache. And the yeah. mustache. Is, yeah, that, yeah. You, is that a holdover from uh, November? November. Yeah. Rosie Mocha. Going into the December and January. Wow. Yes. Okay. <laughs> nice. So Flashpoint. Yeah. This is it, man. This is it. it. Well, you know, if you were to look back at a moment that you'll always savor forever, what would it be? That's a hard one. That's like five That's years, what she said. 75 yeah. episodes of the... <laughs> <laughs> You're slow. <laughs> a little bit. It's been a long day, you know. Um, it's been, uh, gosh, a moment that, you know, anytime I'm with all the team, when we, the scenes that we had, we just got to hang out together and be together. Uh, we have the scene at the... We might have a scene at the end of this episode. I don't want to give <laughs> Almost. Away, I guess. But uh, where we all get to be together, and um, that's that's kind of the, the heart of the show. Flashpoint is Toronto. Yeah. How amazing is that? It's uh, it's fantastic. It's fantastic. Toronto is the fir for the first time. Toronto got to be uh, the star of a show. You know what I mean? Like they were as big a star as any of the actors. On the show. Yeah, yeah. And uh, you felt that. You felt that walking down the streets. You felt that getting on planes, and, and you feel it even outside of Toronto. Like you know, even traveling in the states, and even traveling in Europe. People watch the show. That's that's something to be proud of. So let's end on this. When they pulled the, you know, when they turn off the lights, turn off the cameras, and it was it for Flashpoint. You know, and scene. They were done. Yeah. With their tears, what went through your minds? Um, we uh, we were we were okay. It was going to be okay. That's what it was because we we knew we knew that that was it. Like, we got to end the show at a moment where we knew that this was going to be it. And uh, did they bring out a cake? Like what happened? You know what? Was there champagne? Like, was there budget for anything? It was just love. Oh, okay, that's cheap. Yeah, it was. Cheap, you know, <laughs> that's all it was. Well, the cake is like going to be cheap anyway. I guess. Yeah. 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 No, it was well, just love. thank you for being in our lives for these years, and all of these fans love you. So thank yeah. you so much. All the best. You guys you did too. an amazing job. You too. You too. It was great to see you. My mustache says thank you. <laughs> thank you, mustache. For me. I, I shake its hand, but no. No. I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> Thanks, dude. See you thank later, you. So it's come down to this. Yeah. You know how big of a fan uh, so many people in Toronto have been yeah. of Flashpoint, yeah. and now it's done. Yeah. What do you have to say to all the fans? Come on, Maury. What do I have to say? They actually thank you. Thank you for for watching something that you didn't know to tune into. But CTV did such a great job in promoting us in the beginning, and we gave you something that that. We will hope you liked, and you did. You recognized the humanity, you recognized the excitement in what we wanted to offer, and, and, and you liked it, and, and you kept coming back. And, I mean, nothing is successful unless people watch it, and here they are, and they're right here. And, 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 
don't want to say goodbye to them. Yeah, but you have to. But you have to. When the cameras stopped rolling, the lights went out, and you filmed the final scene, what happened? Was there a tear? Were there hugs? What happened? Seems like you're getting emotional now. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> this was six months ago. We, we left it behind us, you know? We had gotten on with our lives, and today was like, oh, crap, we're here again. We're saying goodbye again. And, uh, Scene we um, was the scene you'll see tonight. It was literally the last scene of the show. It was the last scene we filmed, and uh, it was either because we didn't want it to end or we really wanted to end. But we had we, we had the giggles and we had we couldn't say goodbye to each other. So. Based on the fact of how emotional you're getting with me right now, is it safe to say this is probably one of your favorite projects that you've done? Yeah, it's, more than, make me it's more than safe to say. The character was a beautiful character. He was a humanitarian, and he was, you know, he was a no nonsense and intellect that cared about his his men. And the show itself painted a picture of what these guys do. You know, albeit it was Hollywood esque, and a lot of them sort of shot, you know, with poo poo how he did it, but. Ultimately, we captured their humanity. Really, really captured their humanity. Not in a, and along with the consequences that come with the job. So I thought we did that and still kept it entertaining. So, well, I, you know, you won't get to do that all the time. I know you have to go in, but uh, yeah. as one of the biggest fans, all I can say is thank you for uh, you know the You're amazing awesome, years. The Roz and Mocha Show. Kiss ninety two five.